So in this question is dew point temperature of air at 0.95 bar is what? So what is atmospheric pressure and what is the dew point is given? Dew point is DPT, 16 degree Celsius and the dry bulb is given as 20 degree Celsius. The saturation pressure of water at 16 and 20 are, so we have PV value available is equal to 0 0.01817 and this one is PSD, the saturation pressure at dry bulb H.0. 2337. Both pressures are given in bar. The specific heat of water and uh, air is both given. So, what is Cp of air? 1.005 and what is Cp of vapor is 1.88 and what is HFG given at 0 degree Celsius is 25. It means he will be interested in what? Enthalpy. That is okay. First of all, you want to calculate phi. So, phi is given by the PV divided by PSD. PV is uh, 0 0.01817 and PSD is 0 0.02337. The approximate answer is 77% calculation is for enthalpy. Enthalpy is Cp of air multiplied by dry bulb temperature plus your HFG value plus Cp of vapor multiplied by dry bulb temperature. This whole value is multiplied by what? W. This one is water contribution and this one is air contribution. First of all, we have to find out W. What is specific humidity? Is 0.622 is PV upon P atmospheric minus PV. P atmospheric is this, PV is this. This answer is 0 0.0121. So, put this value 1.005. Dry bulb is degree Celsius 20 plus HFG is 2500, CP vapor is 1.88, dry bulb is 20, multiplied by 0 0.0121, 3.8 kilojoules per kg of a moist, a moist air sample has dry bulb temperature equal to what? 30. Specific humidity is 11.5 gram of kg of dry air. 0 0.0115 Assume the molecular weight of air as 28.93, let it be. The saturation vapor pressure of water at 30, at 30 is dry bulb. So, is this pressure is PSD, PSD is 4.24 kilopascal divided by 100 will become bar so 0 0.0424 and the total pressure is atmospheric pressure 90 kilopascal, 90 kilopascal divided by 100, 0.9 bar. You want to calculate what? 5. So, what is it? What is phi? Phi is basically equal to what? Is it PV divided by PSD? Out of that PSD is available and we don't know the value of PV. So, for this he has given the hint. What is W? Is it 0 0.622 multiplied by PV divided by P atmospheric minus PV. Substitute this value and solve for PV first. You should get 0 0.01634 bar. So, we will put back this value here in phi. So, we get phi equals to PV is 0 0.01634 and we have PSD equals to 38 point to the question. Atmospheric air at a flow at a flow rate of what? 3. This one is M dot on dry basis enters a cooling coil and dehumidifying. So, we have cooling coil and cooling and dehumidification. So, that is a combined. So, the process will go like this and a humidity ratio of this the air leaves the coil with an enthalpy of 43 kilojoules per kg and humidity ratio this the condensate of water leaves this. What is the required cooling capacity of the coil in kilowatts? So, we have to first draw the block diagram. Okay, check the condition. M dot is 3 at entry right enters a cooling coil and dehumidify. So, this one is cooling coil and enthalpy at entry is what 85 kilojoules per kg of dryer is 19 grams so 0 0.019 0 0.019 kg of dryer the air leaves the coil with an enthalpy of h2 is equals to 43 kilojoules per kg and w equals to what so 0 0.00 and the condensate water leaves the coil since he has given the condensate water of enthalpy equals to what and we want to find out the cooling capacity of coil. So, cooling capacity of the coil, is it a external heat you have to remove from this? You have to remove or you have to add? You have to remove. So, this one is the capacity of coil. Now, this one is multiple input and multiple output. So, we will write sigma equation. So, we have Q dot plus M i H i equal to sigma M dot E H e Q dot for this one. So, remove the heat. So, for system, is it negative quantity? For this system, is it negative quantity? Is it inlet? One is inlet. So actually, before this law, we have to apply first law of conservation of mass. Because before this one, you have to always apply law of conservation of mass by taking water balance m dot w m dot w at inlet equals to summation of mass of water at outlet. Now you'll just take the mass of what water balance. What is the mass at inlet? Is a product of m dot multiplied by w1. This one is it uh, out? So we'll call this quantity equal to simply m dot 
so it out means this side is it also out this one is also out so this one is m dot into w2 for mass balance inlet and two outlet so m dot is 3.019 we don't know how much water is get condensed mass is 3 and at this one we have 0 0.008 Solve the equation, we will get mass of water condensed. Unit is same as kg per second. So for this system, your Q is negative. We have inlet equals to what? M dot, M dot multiplied by H1. We have only one inlet and we have two outlets. So two outlet will be like this. One is M dot, this enthalpy is H2. This one is also outlet plus this one is mass of water. Corresponding enthalpy is H. Substitute this thing. Minus Q plus M dot H1, 85 m dot 3 43 mass of water 0 0.003 corresponding enthalpy 67 so you can get quantity so this answer is 123.8 uh, this answer is what kilowatts this one is kilowatts so this option is correct